let us let us move on to another really big line in conference play. And again, this is just this is a strange series. Two years ago, this game was an absolute classic. Michigan at Michigan State. Now Michigan State is a 24 and a half point underdog. That is how far apart these two programs have diverged since that game where I mean, this was the game probably that got Mel Tucker the contract. I am basically at Michigan minus anything territory uh, until November 11th. Yeah, I know this one, though, is going to be nasty. It's yeah. This is one of the nastiest rivalries mm. in the sport. And I think a lot of people kind of t- like take it for granted or whatever. Like this game gets gross and it's going to get extra gross because of what happened last year. Yeah. Um, I think Michigan, st- like that is that atmosphere is going to be really charged. It's going to be really nasty. But I like it's Michigan. Like if, right. if you like this Michigan, t- like it, they are plus 149 point differential in their four conference games. I believe your colleague Max Olson has a stat that they have not uh they have not faced a goal to go play in conference play. Right. It's Indiana, it's Indiana well, no, I think Indiana crossed the 10. Oh no, they were at they might have been just just beyond the 10. That's okay. what it was. So, yeah, I mean, that it's unbelievable how dominant they've been. And that's the thing here. It could be nasty. It could be charged. And it could be that by the middle of the second quarter, it's 35 to three. And <laughs> right, it right. How charged like, it was. Right. Like it, it could be charged at kickoff and then Michigan gets going, you know, and, and Michigan has started slow the last couple of weeks. Like they, it took a little bit before they got revved up against Indiana. I mean, hell, Bowling Green, McCarthy had like two picks in the red zone. So it has taken them a little bit to get started. But I, this Michigan State team also, I think, is – I think you're worried about the floor dropping out of this Michigan it, State. It, it, it's fragile. They Like, they should have beaten Rutgers. They let Rutgers back in that game. Right. And it, it's just – yeah, you you kind of wonder where, where they're at. Their coach is done. They're going to have a new staff next year. This is the portal era, which means a lot of them might not be there next year. So how, how do they handle this situation? And, you know, Michigan – they didn't cover against Rutgers. You go back to that game, and you, but you look at the way Rutgers has played the rest of the season, and you're like, oh, the way they beat Rutgers is actually really impressive when you look at it this way. Yeah, yeah. So I just – everything Michigan has done has been impressive. They, they just feel like they are very well put together. Everybody does what they're supposed to do, and they've got younger guys that they're they're sprinkling in, that they're trying to get experience like – if you're going to have a schedule like this that does not really challenge you until the second week of November, they're handling it the right way where they're going to have so many guys who played significant snaps by the time they get to Penn State. I think they're in pretty good shape. They played like – they played a nuts amount of defensive linemen. I think they played like 12 defensive linemen yeah. against Indiana. Like, and not just like – like they played 12 defensive linemen, like double-digit snaps kind of stuff. Like guys mm. get in here. Yeah. Yeah. And then Harbaugh at the end of the game was thanking every single assistant coach for developing all of it. Like it, it's a, it's a big kumbaya moment. And on, honestly, we're not going to see them get challenged until, until Penn state. And that's okay. I'll take Michigan to cover here just because I do think if there's a little bit of nastiest nastiness up front that will just cause Michigan to be punitive against Michigan state. And that, that will make it worse. Yeah, I like that's the thing. Like, yes, Michigan State's gonna be motivated here, and their fans are gonna be really getting after Michigan, yada yada yada. But Michigan also is is gonna want to leave no doubt. And if Michigan's up late, I don't know if the dogs get called off to the extent that maybe they were called. I off. just think they let the backups score like crazy. Yeah, yeah. It, it's I, the I, old Steve Spurrier thing. Well, you, you should stop the backups. Right, right. I don't think I don't think Jim's calling the dogs off here. Uh, like he may have done against Indiana or Rutgers or whoever. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On 3 Sports YouTube channel.